I think I hit the button in a, inappropriately. <clears throat> so now this is officially part two. I hope the other one recorded. <laughs> um, okay, so I've just stuck that in there. And I'm, I'm just training the paper by using the bold folder. It's a good idea to do that front and back, actually. There we go. And it's going to make your, your journal close better. Yeah. Okay. Um, and also the pages will open and close very nicely. So we have that with that. And we use the second piece. So we're good there. Where is that butterfly? So it was, all, it was that butterfly's fault. <laughs> You, you were the one that caused all the problems. I just want to go on the page. All right, you're going on. I'm not holding you back any longer. So now we just got to, um, you could totally decorate the pages. You could use coffee dyed pages, but I think the white gives a nice contrast with the craft. Um, but you know, whatever, whatever you like. Okay, there we go. And you're down. Ah, <sighs> bitter. Yeah, it was very pretty. Oh, flashy, flashy. Yeah, that was the acrylic paint with the metallic sheen. Very cool. Um, okay, so we have this one now. We have this little lovely. What are we going to do here? Hmm? What are you going to do with you? I keep staring at this like I want to do something with it, like maybe use it for collage or something. Um, you could take a big piece and do it. Or you could cover it in, in fabric. Um, but I think I just, I want to just cover those things and, and not really be worried about it. Um, maybe I'll play with some, let's see what else. Try and keep it simple. Don't go with anything extraneous. Okay, I'm back. Um, I still have all this craft paper, but one very simple thing you could do is you could just cover the area with more craft paper and there you would have a neutral background. So that's, that's kind of in line with what we're making today. So let's do that. <laughs> let's do that. All right. Um, let me get the fabric fix because that'll be a good strong glue. Uh, probably should have cut it first, but no, no, I didn't. No, no, didn't do that at all. No. Nope. All right, let's just glue this down. See what we got. Okay, put that down. Okay, it's not like please. We didn't use a paper bag to make a journal. <laughs> no, who would do that? <clears throat> that would be us, and uh, about a million other crafters. Yep, that's good. We're clear. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. The pipes have been cleared and the front is covered. We still have some showing on the spine. We'll deal with that in a second. And then we just have the back. We can take this off and we need, we still have this. Will you cover? Will you cover everything? Yes, you will. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then you are going to take on that roll. Good to get close to the edges. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. 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 And... Okay. Yeah, sorry for the part two. That was totally unintentional. I have, I have no way to rescue that. I'm hoping part one was saved. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Gluing down. Definitely got the edges here. I don't know if I came down far enough. Did I? Let's rip it off first. Let's rip it off. Just about a quarter inch in. Yep. So we're totally on the inside. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Now we have that. Oh, you could get all freaked out about that or just ignore it. But let's we'll see if we were going to cover it. What would we do? Oh, maybe let's build some fake um, hinges. Let's build fake hinges. Yeah, that way we can cover that. And we have fake hinges. That's kind of cool. All right, so let's try that. One fake hinge. I'll make them the same length, right? And this is using the, the other part. Oh, I could turn them over and use the white side too. All right. Um, I think I want to use a fancy scissor here. I'm calling for a fancy scissor. Oh, this is gonna not be nice. This is like, this will only, let's see. Eh, 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 stuck. Okay. I knew that was gonna be a problem. Oh, well, that's all right. It's okay. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. We got some, we got some distinction there. A little rough around the edges, but not bad. Um, and you could ink these up and make them show more, but I think I'm going to do things to them. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, here's a hinge. Mm -hmm. There's one hinge. Now these hinges, <clears throat> because everything here is paper, they're not going to be the strongest things in the world. And maybe over time they may tear. So you could do fabric hinges. That would probably be better. 
It would give your journal more integrity on the spine. Uh, but right now we're just working with the paper bag and like this is just something like a little fun project. Um, yeah, that was my African gray holly. Yeah, and he's in my uh, uh, craft room. Read, um, gosh, what was it called? The cleaning up the craft room one, the spring cleaning. Yeah, he does a little debut in there if you want to see him. You know, folks like to see him. And uh, later today, he's going to go and hang out with Papa in his office. And uh, they will, he has outie time up there now because we have sunshine. <clears throat> and we try and kind of keep it as near the two shall meet on the floor because that might not go so well. <laughs> I'm not sure it would be fun. Actually, uh, Holly or Holly did get along with our four other dogs, but there were a few tail nips and nose pinches, so it just, I don't want to put Sunny through that, so no. Okay, it's just better this way. He still gets his outie time, yeah. Lower to cover the green. We're shopping is your paycheck. <laughs> okay, there. All right. Oh, well, not stuck there. Well, I'm just, I'm just taking you through all this. This is like the, the long version of how to do anything. Yes. I don't edit. Never figured it out, and um, I tried. And no, it's not like I didn't try. I tried uh, several times and failed miserably. So now I am just recording everything. So either, yeah, you can speed through stuff if you just, you know, this is like, yeah, we get it, Pam, we get it. Or like, no, I need to see every step, and then it's there for you if you want to see every step. So. Pick your poison. <laughs> All right, there we go. Whoops, okay. All right, yeah. Are y'all down? Everybody's down? Everybody's good? Okay, now, what can we do to make you look maybe a little medieval? I don't know, I'm kind of thinking medieval on this one. So let's get, uh, let's get something. We need something maybe like rivets or something that looks like rivets. Yeah, how about something that looks like rivets? I'm over in my marker drawer and I'm digging. And uh, what would silver? I don't know. Maybe silver rivets? Let's try that first. We can always cover it. Does that show up very well? It doesn't show it up at all. Okay, well, that was that was highly unimpressive. These are probably old. It's not your fault, Jane Davenport. It's my fault. I'm not, I'm not taking care of my marker. Let me go for something better than that. We gotta have something better than that in here. Ah. What if we went like totally opposite? What if we did white? Okay, this is a jelly roll pen. Uh, uh. I guess you could stamp on here too, right? That might be an idea. All right, just doing simple stuff today. This is not liking to write over the marker, but it does like writing on the, uh, the craft paper. So that's kind of cool. Just do some basic rivets. Okay, a little more on there. Might have to go in there with some white paint on that one. Um, okay, let's maybe do more. We just gotta have four rivets. Of course, these rivets make no sense to the function of the book, but you know, it's a riveted hinge looking thing. Here we go. This one I do have in my uh, Zasakura. In my Amazon shop, if you're looking for those, but yeah, I think every that's one thing I would like to include in my, everybody's craft room would be one white jelly roll type pan where you can and write on dark things because sometimes you got to write on dark things. Okay, now he thinks me needs more, right? Something, something, something. Let's see. <sighs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, that could be, that could be like the, um, this could be the herbal book of the old, like, Viking, like, Lagertha, the leg, leg, leg. this would be his, her herbal book of uh, treasures. Yeah, okay, so let's put this on the front. That's kind of pretty, actually. I like that. It's a white-backed sticker, which will pop very nicely, very nicely against the uh, the background of the craft paper. And that, put it somewhat in the center. Oh, I like that. Very nice. Very nice. So you feel like we need more rivets here. Let me do that. So there's a there's like a paper bag fold here, which I that can either 
cover or just embrace the fact that, yes, who are we kidding? This is a paper bag, but we love it because it's a paper bag. And that's just so cool. Okay, so let's do some small rivets. Um, I kind of like these little rivets. These are kind of cute little rivets. So it's a little, little steampunky, a little uh, Viking style. This is what the Vikings, yeah, this is, I've done my research and Vikings used the paper bag to keep their herbal recipes in. Mm -hmm, that's a fact. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, maybe not. But um, I'm sure in TV land, maybe. Yeah. And here we go. Just doing this. Okay, it's not a Viking. Okay, it's just medieval. How about that? Yeah, okay. Around here. I don't want to smudge anybody. Um, so very simple design, you know. I mean, you don't need a lot of product. Just a few, a couple things. I mean, use what you have, you know. If you just have colored pencils, just use colored pencils. Um, if you just have stickers, just use stickers. You don't need a lot of hoo-ha, you know, to make something pretty cool. I'm really liking this, this uh, journal. <laughs> now that you're dry, I can get white on you more. We shall see, we shall see. That's kind of cool, huh? Yeah, but it's, it's missing something, isn't it? It needs like some kind of something here. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna have to do this. Okay, I'm not smudging anybody. All right, I'm just gonna, as if there's some kind of band here. There's like a, a riveted band that's holding this entire giant book together on that side. And then I feel like we need some kind of closure. Um, and maybe we would use, I don't know. Do we, let, wait a minute. If I punch in here, am I going to catch that? Oh yeah, I don't want to do that. Okay. So maybe we're just going to use a very simple, um, like you're coming with me. Come on over to my little drawer of mess here. And uh, what's this? This is very simple. We want to use that. That's very, that's too simple. There's not enough of it. Okay. Well, what's that? Is there enough? No. My dog is snoring. Oh, he's so cute when he's snoring. <laughs> All right. So we could use that. Or we could just use some twine. I have twine loops as opposed to, uh, hang on. <laughs> How about some uh, scrunched up seam binding? This was probably put in some tea dye or something. And uh, yeah, you know, we could actually attach it to our spine because our spine is a little, is, uh, I'm going to flatten that hinge out a little bit. Yeah, that happens sometimes when you have the uh, paper on paper and there's no fabric relief or space in there or tape or something to give it, you know, something. Let's just measure this equilong. Oh, let me back up so you can see. They're the same, holding at the same length here. So that should pull in the middle. And let's just tie this on right there, right there. Yeah, there. Now we're on. Now if somebody wants to take it off, they can take it off. But that's going to be there. And then this, yeah, we can do it twice, twice. Okay, going good, going good. Haven't inked a thing, kind of like that. And maybe just do a little bow. This is fun. I'm just, I'm just having fun kicking back with you guys. I hope you guys are having fun with your paper bags too. Uh, remember, ask for paper next time. Um, I know you're using your own bags or they don't have paper. Um, hmm, maybe those countries where they don't even have paper bags. Huh, you might have to buy craft paper, you know, like a roll of craft paper or something like that. But uh, yeah, and you could even put a little like a dangly loo or something like that on there. But there you go. I mean, I hope you enjoyed that. And um, this was a lot of fun to make with you guys. So thank you. Thank you for helping me transform. Didn't finish. Look at that sloppy crafter. Um, uh, thank you for, for helping me transform this paper bag into a new life. Okay, I'm just finishing my work here. Finishing my work. You're welcome to hang out. Yep. I always love it when you guys are here. All right, let's just do our little rivets. Yeah, we're like not riveting the back. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? I was a lazy little elf. I escaped. Um, <laughs> ran away to have lunch. I think this is what I did. Do you remember? Not exactly. No, but we'll just do this. I think this was it rivets around the central rectangle. Okay. 
If not, it's going to have a little different of design. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> like I'm trying to convince myself. That's okay. Yeah, yeah it's really, it's fine. <laughs> All right, let me just move this. That's easy to operate. and It's very light and doesn't get in your way much. And um, yeah, these uh, jelly roll pens are awesome. This would be a nice thing to ask for your birthday. Yeah, your birthday's coming up. Instead of dreading your birthday, make it craft supply. Yeah, cash in. Yeah, you just like, just happen to mention cavalierly to your um, your third cousin that, oh, I've really been wanting a crocodile big bite too. Yeah, that would make my life complete. You don't really need one. We all know that. But it would make your life easier. And they want you to be happy because they're your family. You can guilt them into it. <laughs> And, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, there's, there's something to be said for gifts being given without, you know, telling people what you want, just the novelty of like, oh, you know, if somebody really thought a lot of me, they would just know that I really want the crocodile too big bite. Or um, maybe they don't know because you don't really talk about it outside of this circle and because nobody would understand Like You'd be like, hey, you seen that crocodile too big bite? And you're like, what? What are you talking about? Crocodile? Crocodile? No, no. What are you talking about? Oh, it punches holes in paper. Yeah, that, that's really fascinating. All right, next, what are we ordering? Yeah, I'll have the, um, the lettuce wraps, please. Um, so sometimes I know those conversations, they go like that. Yeah, I, I, I had them. <laughs> totally had them. Okay, does that, let's see, does it look like that? Yeah, pretty good, except for that middle thing here. Um, so let's just do that. And then I think we, we have wrapped up the entire project. Drying? Do I have it there? No, I don't. Okay. Do I need it down here? Maybe, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's let's add that. I don't know. I'm just goofing off at this point. Um, I just don't want to turn the camera off. I don't know what it is. I'm just like, because you know what it is. Once I turn it off, then I have to go back into the real world. And there's like, you know, stuff to do, like adult responsibility stuff. And I just not really in any exciting mood to rush back to that stuff. I just want to hang out and play here with you guys all day. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, so there you have it. And you could hang danglies off of here too. That could be another way you could take it further. And um, let me just time a little bowski and we'll, we'll call her a day. And uh, you have anything to say to the lovely people, Sunshine? I, ha I have a new friend, and his name is Gator. Can you see? Is it Gator? Yeah, he's from Florida, and uh, he's my new he's my new friend. That's what all I have to say. Bye, everybody. Have a great day. Okay, so I think that wraps it up. So uh, if you had fun here, please like, subscribe, and share if you find value. Um, check out my Amazon shop for uh, favorite tools and supplies, my uh, monthly free emailed newsletter, which has an extra surprise in the month of April 2021. Be sure to check that out and sign up. And um, uh, you get a free digital image, checklist of supplies, note from the bookmaker, tips on junk journal making, and updates from the paper outpost. And uh, what else, what else, what else? Um... Videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. Podcast Tuesdays, Thursdays. You can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Facebook group. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges. I guess I should give you a little final demo of what we actually made. So here we are in the herbal book, uh, which is also known as the sketchbook. We have a place to put pretty lovelies. And uh, we have nice nice pages here to write in. Yes, very nice. And you have that, oh, what's this? We don't know. Nobody knows, but it's an extra place to write, whatever you'd like to do with that. And you could put a little separate paper clip or, or something on here, or just leave it as is, whatever you like. No rules. Um, yeah. So there you go, folks. Um, have lots of fun. I have an Etsy shop with vintage digital kits. Um, and you can just tie this once if you want. There you go. Um, all right. I'll talk to you next time. I just don't want to leave the classroom today. <laughs> That's what it is. I don't want to leave here. All right. Maybe we'll make something else. Okay. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Till next time.